Hello everyone, welcome to another GameMaker Studio 2 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an object follow another object in GML. So first what you need to do, you need to select the object that you want to be following the other one. Um, so in this case it would be the enemy. And so if I click that, I go to the events, and the two events you'll need is a create event and a step event. Um, in the create event, the only thing you really need uh, right now is to set a variable. Um, and this variable will be the speed that uh, at which it's following um, the other object. So with variable, I would put speed, but that's already a built-in variable and we don't want to be using that. Um, so I'm just going to put SPD for now. Um, and then we can set that to equal whatever we want. Uh, I'll just put it for 2. Uh, and that's all we need for the create event right now. Um, during future times, you can maybe set like health or something like that if that's um, what your game entails. Um, so then we can go to the step event. And the main component of the step event is um, the simple function uh, move underscore towards underscore point. You see it right here. Then it says an x, a y, and an sp. Um, the x is the x coordinate. It's going to be following the y coordinate. It's going to be following. Um, and then you put a variable that sets the speed, um, which is what we did in the create event. So uh, first you need to put uh, whatever object you want to be following. So in this case, we'll be following object underscore player. So let me just type that out right now, object underscore player, and dot x, meaning wherever the uh, player is at the x coordinate, we're going to be following. Um, and then ob obj underscore player uh, dot y, um, we'll be following the y coordinate once again. And then finally, spd, because that's the name of the variable. Um, and so we'll be setting the speed to 2. Um, and that is all there is to it. You can also add um, something like like this, um, so that the, the object follows and like turns its head towards you if that's what you need. Um, but if I look at my room right now, I don't need that because they're just cubes. Um, so I'll actually show you this in action. Um, and the reason why I'm making a tutorial on uh, following other objects because this can be used for a variety of different games, whether it be a shooter, you can make a collision event. Um, where you can like shoot that the enemies and destroy them, or an RPG where if you collide, um, it cut sets you into like a battle scene. And so here you can see it working no matter where I go. They're always following me. They may seem a little slow, so you can adjust the speed. Um, like say you can add a collision event where if you guys hit each other, you die. You can add health so that you shoot them, you can lose their health. You have a ton of cool things like that. So uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.